And in today's Inside Afghanistan, since the U.S.-led war began in 2001, nearly 3,500 coalition troops have been killed, along with more than 13,000 Afghan soldiers and police officers. The very first U.S. death was that of a CIA officer. His name, Michael Spann. And now, 12 and a half years later, Sean Caleb speaks with his daughter. It's the conclusion to our series covering the Afghan presidential elections. Like all soon-to-be college graduates, 21-year-old Allison Spann has her whole life in front of her. A journey that's a bit easier now that she has made peace with the past. The memory of her father, Johnny Michael Mike Spann, the first U.S. casualty in America's longest war. I want him to be someone who's remembered. She was nine years old when her father, a former U.S. Marine and then a CIA officer, told Allison he had to leave to take on a tough job. He said, I'm going to Afghanistan, this is what I'm doing. Of course, I knew everything that was going on. I knew it was dangerous. Um, I just started bawling. I just did not have a good feeling about it. I was very scared, and I told him not to go. In November of 2001, her father hooked up with the Northern Alliance in North Afghanistan in an effort to drive the Taliban from power and track down public enemy number one, Osama bin Laden. Mike Spann was at a fortress just outside the city of Mazari Sharif that was being used as a prison. He was talking with Taliban inmates when a riot broke out and the prisoners turned on him. We were all in my grandparents' bedroom and I was sitting on the floor with my aunt. My aunt looked at me and she was like, your dad got hurt in Afghanistan. And the first thing that popped to my mind was like, is he gonna be okay? And she said, no, he's never gonna be okay. Mike Spann died on November 25th, 2001. He was buried with honors at Arlington National Cemetery just outside Washington. Now, all Allison has are photos of her father. Allison's mother and father had divorced by this time, and as if the nine-year-old didn't suffer enough, a month after her father died, Allison's mother passed away from cancer. That's all I asked, like, why me? Like, why did this happen? Like, why my parents? Why my family? I, I asked that a lot. That was a question that just continuously went through my mind for years. As a 10-year-old girl, Allison's stepmother, a CIA officer herself, wanted to bring Allison to Afghanistan for a ceremony to honor her father. It's a trip the young girl simply didn't want to make, to go to Mazari Sharif and the prison where her father died. But what she found when she came to Afghanistan surprised her. Everyone we met there was so giving. They, were, they wanted to like shower us with gifts and thank us, like, thank you so much for your dad. Like, he's helped us so much. The early teen years were not kind to Allison. She was angry, frustrated, and dearly missed her parents. But she fought through what could break others, and now is weeks away from finishing her degree at Pepperdine University in Malibu, California. She's interned with two U.S. senators from her home state of Alabama during college, and that gave her time to visit her father. I actually, surprisingly, like, really enjoy going to Arlington. I go there and it's completely peaceful and I can sit there for an hour and like talk to him. I like used to like write him letters over the summer and leave them there. Now that the war for the U.S. is coming to an end, it closes a chapter in American history and in some ways Allison's life as well. Thirteen years of war, billions spent, thousands died and people ask Allison, was it worth it? I would like to believe that all the sacrifices that were given up for Afghanistan were worth it. I think everyone who lost their life, um, who spent time fighting, who went over there for a job, I think that everything that they did was worth it. For many others, Afghan and American alike, the answer is less than certain. 